Welcome to Veliki Novgorod! Hello dear travelers, this is Vera from Fiber Tours and yes, we are keeping ourselves busy with making your itinerary in Russia as full as possible. If you're still working on your travel plan, please don't forget to include a visit to Veliki Novgorod in your travel map. It's located only 200 kilometers away from St. Petersburg, which is nothing for Russia, as you can imagine. And the best way to get here is by car. That's what we did and that's what we recommend all of our travelers to do, if you are ready. Let's go! That's the date of the foundation of the city. Veliki Novgorod is the oldest and there was a time it was the richest city in Russia. Veliki in English means great. We have already been with you to Lower Novgorod, which is close to Moscow. But why this Novgorod is called great? Let's find out. They are calling for us. Uh, we decided to take a boat ride along the Volkov River and to enter the Ilmen Lake, which is one of the most ancient lakes uh, in this Novgorod lands. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very beautiful excursion. Take a boat ride along the Volkhov River, you will be passing by Rurikova Garadish. Uh, don't worry, I will translate what it means just a little bit later. Uh, so, if you remember what Novgorod means, Novgorod means a Novy Gorod or a new city. And if there is a new city, there has to be an old city. So, by the uh, historical uh, research, uh, it was stated that this was the place where was the old city. So, Novgorod was the city where all Local Slavic tribes, tired of wars, called up for Rurik to rule their lands in peace. And whose dynasty stayed in Russia for like the next 800 years? Uh, Novgorod was the first, let's say, window to Europe and way before St. Petersburg, as you can imagine. Novgorod citizens they were really advanced by medieval standards. They started to pave the streets uh, way before they started to do that in Europe, in Paris or London, for example. They were used to the foreign speech in the Novgorod streets. Uh, they called up for princes when they wanted to... Very dramatic, democratic. Went vain. <gasps> non alcoholic. What's the point? Novgorod was first mentioned in the 8th century, and you may think that it started with building a fortress, but no, Novgorod Kremlin was constructed only in the 11th century, and since its foundation it has been a political, administrative, religious, social and cultural center of the Novgorod lands. That's the place where the oldest church in Russia is located, St. Sophia Cathedral, uh, the monument to the millennium of Russia, and also the oldest civilian structure, Granavita Chamber. Novgorod Kremlin being a significant military engineering structure has been and remains today a remarkable monument of ancient Russian architecture presenting a great interest from an architectural and artistic point of view. St. Sophia Cathedral. 
is the most ancient church in Russia. It was built in the beginning of 11th century by the order of the Prince of Novgorod Vladimir, the son of Yaroslav the Wise. The House of Hagia Sophia was the religious and cultural center of the Novgorod lands. Where Sophia, there is Novgorod, used to say the inhabitants of the medieval Novgorod. During the Soviet times, uh, there were no services and this cathedral was turned into the Museum of Atheism. And only in 1991, St. Sophia Cathedral was returned to the Russian Orthodox Church. to the Millennium of Russia. It was established by uh, a decree of our emperor, Alexander II, in order to commemorate a thousand year history of Russia. Can you imagine that? Uh, this uh, monument displays the history from the 9th to the 19th century. And we can see here 129 figures of all those who played a huge part in the history of our country. Uh, during the Second World War, uh, this monument was fully destroyed. But after the liberation of Novgorod in 1944, this monument was the first in Russia to be restored. But let's take a closer look and see if we find somebody who we know, who I know. <laughs> okay, well, Peter the Great over there. It's been an interesting day and we are about to head back to St. Petersburg and to enjoy amazing countryside views on the way back. You know, this time of the year, late September, beginning of October, we call a golden autumn, a beautiful period to travel, you know, in between the cities and to appreciate the nature. This was Vera from Fiber Tours. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments which cities in Russia are you planning to visit. Bye-bye.